the seasons are changing and the fall is one of the seasons when we prepare comfort foods that are packed with flavors and aroma. This includes pumpkin and winter squash. That is why today I'll show you how to bake spaghetti squash. And the great thing about spaghetti squash is that it is a perfect substitution for pasta dishes. It is low calorie and contains high fiber, so it's very good for digestion. Spaghetti squash also is rich on omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids, and these are essential amino acids that help with regulating the blood pressure. It's also anti-inflammatory and maintains our heart in good health. So today I'm going to share two different versions of baked spaghetti squash and as always it's vegan and gluten free. It's perfect as a side dish or again as a substitution for pasta and if you add a little sweetness to it like agave nectar it makes a great dessert. So let's dive into the recipe. To be able to cut the spaghetti squash easily, we will heat it in the microwave. So use a fork and pierce the spaghetti squash about 10 times. Then put it in the microwave and heat it up for about 3 to 4 minutes. And next use a sharp knife and cut the spaghetti squash alongside into two large pieces. I had to use the help of my partner Abby because it was pretty difficult to cut. Once the spaghetti squash is cut into half, use a spoon and scoop the seeds out. And don't worry, the seeds will not go to waste. You can clean them, add some salt and olive oil and bake them in the oven. It makes a great snack. And the next step is to season the squash. On the first half, add some avocado oil or any oil of your choice, a little bit of salt and black pepper, and rub the olive oil and the seasoning well. On the second half, add some gluten-free coconut butter, or if you don't have any, you can also use coconut oil. Then add some ground cinnamon and rub the seasoning well. After you're done seasoning the spaghetti squash, add a parchment paper on your baking pan and flip the squash over. Then transfer it to the oven and bake it for 50 minutes at 400 Fahrenheit. And 50 minutes later, the spaghetti squash is nice and crispy and it smells so delicious. So take it out of the oven and flip it over and we have our spaghetti squash ready. It's pretty easy, right? And the first half you can use as a substitute for any spaghetti dish. And the second half, if you add a little sweetener, like agave syrup, you can use it as a dessert. Additionally, you can serve each version as is, as a side dish to your main course. It also makes a great snack during your favorite movie. So I hope you enjoyed this delicious recipe. And if you did, let me know in the comment section below. As always, remember to subscribe, like, and share. See you in the next video.